Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing like a review and lip swatches of the new Grande Cosmetics lip primer. So they recently came out with a lip primer that's supposed to plump your lips. It also says that it's supposed to reduce your lip lines and it does a whole bunch of things that I'm going to go over in just a minute when we try it out. So yeah, Grande Cosmetics nicely sent me this cute little PR package that came in this box like this. So they sent me four of their lip products. The first one is their plumping lip primer. This is the new product that I was just talking about. It says it has a matte finish. Then they sent me their Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick. This is a semi-matte semi and it's in the shade Vintage Rose. The next one is their Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick and it is a metallic semi-matte in the shade Rose Blush. And then the last product they sent me is their Stay Put Invisible Lip Liner. So I'm gonna be testing all of these products out for you guys. I'm also going to do like some food and drink tests and see if these products really hold up. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my liquid lipstick and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So now that my lips are all prepped and ready to go, I'm gonna kind of read you guys all the claims of the lip primer. So it says that it's supposed to smooth and hydrate the lips, reduces lines, instantly plumps without any discomfort, extends color wear for up to four hours. It's a clear matte finish and it says to use as a lip primer or alone as a matte plumper. It says Grande Lips Primer is the first step in your lip routine that you've been missing. This nourishing plumping primer preps your lips by smoothing out lip lines and reducing wrinkles before application. It says click the bottom of the bottle to fill the applicator with product. Apply generously to clean dry lips and wait for the primer to dry. Then apply your favorite lip color or wear alone. So I think what I'm gonna do is apply the lip primer and then I'm gonna go in with the lip liner and then apply one of the liquid lipsticks. I really like that it claims to reduce lip lines because I hate the way my lip lines look whenever I apply liquid lipstick. I'm just gonna click the bottom. The packaging of this is really nice. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, do you guys see that? My bottom lip already looks smoother. So I do feel my lips tingling a little bit. It's not like a strong tingling sensation, but you can definitely feel it. My lip lines look so much better now that this has been on my lips for a couple of minutes. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the lip liner. The directions say twist the applicator until you see just the tip of the liner. Use light pressure applying along the natural shape of your lips to achieve an anti-bleed, no feather area. Finish your lip routine by applying your favorite lipstick or gloss to achieve your best <laughs> looking lip. This packaging is so pretty. I can't get over how smooth my lips look now. So I think I'm gonna go in with the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Vintage Rose just because I'm not really feeling metallic lips right now, but I'm gonna do a lip swatch of that one as well for you guys after I finish testing out all these products. Ooh, look how pretty. It has like this little open part where you can see the lipstick shade. It says, define your lip with the angled precision contour tip and then fill in the rest of your lips with the flat surface of the applicator. For best results, apply the Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick two times a day on a clean, dry lips. So it says that your lips will look like plumper, more plump, if you use this two times a day for 30 days. So here is what the applicator looks like. It's just like a triangular shaped doe foot applicator. All right, so here is what this shade looks like. My lips definitely look a lot more plump. I'm not sure if this liquid lipstick is supposed to dry all the way down because it says it's a semi-matte. So I'm curious how this is gonna hold up with me like eating and drinking. So it is currently at 12.20 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and go wear this for a little bit and I will come back and give you guys an update with how it's wearing. All right, guys, so it is now 1.34. So it's been a little bit over an hour now. Um, my lips still look really good. I can still feel it tingling just a little bit. Um, the only thing that's really bothering me right now is that this liquid lipstick is not transfer proof. Like, it definitely kind of gets everywhere and I'm about to eat. So I have a feeling it's gonna kind of come off. Hopefully the primer helps it last. I'm gonna have to try um, it out with another liquid lipstick, like my Girlactic one that I was wearing at the beginning of this video. Should I eat in here? Maybe I should just bring my food in here and test it out on camera for you guys. All right, so I went and got a cup of water. I grabbed a white cup so you guys can see if the lipstick transfers. So I'm just gonna be eating a snack. I'm gonna be eating some yogurt since I haven't eaten since breakfast this morning. So I'm gonna do the drink test first. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought there was gonna be way more, I mean, 
The lipstick is on the cup, but I thought there was gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna wipe it off and then do it again. I feel like the lipstick actually looks better now. And maybe I applied too much. So that time a lot less came off. Wow. Maybe I just applied it too thickly. All right, so now I'm gonna eat some yogurt. If you guys are wondering, this is the Danon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. It has 80 calories. Then I have some vanilla almond granola on top. This is really weird eating on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating this and then I'll come back and show you guys how the lipstick looks after eating this. This is probably like a true test because yogurt gets all over your mouth when you eat it. It's kind of inevitable. So yeah, I will be right back. So I just finished eating all of the yogurt and my lipstick still looks really good. It did kind of come off like just a tiny bit on the inside of my lips, but you can't even tell. I'm pretty impressed that it hasn't come off because it's not transfer proof. Like. It did get um, pretty much all over my spoon as I was eating it, but it's still on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff around the house and then I will be back in to check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so the time now is 2.52 in the afternoon. My lips still look really good. I don't really feel the tingling as much anymore. Um, I did kind of wipe off my lipstick right here on accident. Um, so it doesn't look very like precise anymore, but overall the color still looks great. It's been really comfortable to wear because it doesn't dry all the way down. Sometimes the liquid lipsticks can be really uncomfortable for like long periods of time because they are so matte and dry, but this one is a semi-matte, so it's definitely on the more comfortable side. So, so far I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing stuff that I need to do and I will come back with one final check-in and whenever I do come back I'm also going to try it with another liquid lipstick and then I also want to try out or do like a lip swatch of this metallic shade because I feel like it looks really pretty so yeah I will be back in a little bit all right you guys it is now 4 36 my lipstick still looks pretty good but you guys can probably tell that it has started to come off a little bit in the center of my lips like if you guys can even see that it's a little bit like darker here and then as it comes to the center of my lips they look a little bit more pink where you can see my normal lip color like coming through um as you guys know the top of my lips I accidentally wiped so they're looking a little rough, not as sharp anymore. So yeah, overall I'm super impressed with how long this has lasted. Normally with liquid lipsticks, they start to come off like a lot in the center of my lips. Like this one has kind of like faded instead of just like come off. A lot of times mine will get like patchy when I start to eat or drink, but this one you can't really tell. I just personally really like the way that it's come off. That sounds weird. Like you don't really want your liquid lipstick to come off, but I would much prefer it come off like nice and smooth and I wonder if that's the primer that's doing that like my lips look very smooth you guys know that sometimes when you're wearing liquid lipstick and you eat it kind of like comes off and starts to look like crusty which is definitely not cute so I like the way that my lips look right now they still look nice and smooth and my lines are definitely less noticeable so I think what I'm going to do now is take this off and I'm going to reapply the primer and then I want to show you guys the other lip shade that I got sent to me. And then I also want to try the lip primer with my normal liquid lipstick just to see how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I will be right back. So I'm going to do the same process again. First starting out with the lip primer. This like instantly makes your lips look so smooth. It does have like that silicone-y feel like some face primers do. Leave me a comment down below if you guys can see the difference. Like after I put that on, my lips look so like soft and smooth. I'm also gonna do a little bit of the lip liner again. So now I'm gonna be using the Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Rose Blush. It looks really pretty. I'm super excited. It's like a really pretty like rose gold color. So the packaging is a little bit different. The first shade I use just has a plain top, but this one has this cute little like stone on it with the shade name, but it also has the same like clear part where you can see through. So this looks really pretty. I'm super excited about this one. This one smells a little bit different. It definitely doesn't smell as good as the other one. Wow, I like this color a lot. This one feels a lot more like thin than the other one. 
definitely not as thick of a formula. The shade is super pretty. I just don't normally wear like metallic lipstick, but I do really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry down for a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to drink some water again and see how much of this one transfers onto the cup. All right, so, so far this one feels a lot more transfer proof than the other one. When I touch my lip, it comes off, but not as much as the other one did. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink out of this cup and see how much comes off. All right, so this one was kind of like the first one. A lot came off, so I'm gonna wipe it off and we're gonna do it again. Since now we got a lot of the product off. All right, round two. So a lot less came off, but still. So I'm not gonna wear this one for four hours again because this is the longest video I've ever filmed on my channel. But let me know if you guys like videos like this. I can definitely do more product reviews where I do like check-ins throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all this off again and I'm gonna try it out with the liquid lipstick that I was wearing at the beginning of the video just to see how it looks with the primer underneath. I cannot believe how smooth my lips look after, first of all, wearing a liquid lipstick for that long, then taking off, applying another one. And now I'm on the third color. Normally when I do lip swatch videos, my lips look so dry and like crusty, but they look really smooth still. All right, so we're gonna do the primer first. I'm like obsessed with how smooth this is making my lips look. Next is the lip liner. And now I'm gonna be applying my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. This is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint. This one's in the shade Posh. This is what I was wearing at the beginning of the video. This liquid lipstick is completely transfer proof. With the primer on, that just like glides on so easy. My lips look so smooth right now. Based on my first impressions of this primer so far, I'm really liking it. I kind of wish now that I would have used the primer and did like the four hour wear test with this liquid lipstick just because I know how long this one normally lasts. But of course I will keep you guys updated with how this primer is working because I wanna continue using it. And I also wanna continue using the other products because they claim to make your lips look more plump, which I definitely feel like my lips look just a little bit bigger, like nothing too crazy, but I can definitely tell that they are more plump now. In the past when I've used a lip plumping products, they've like made my lips tingle so much that it almost like hurt or was uncomfortable. But this one just has like a nice like cooling tingling effect. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. And I definitely don't mind it. But if you're someone who doesn't like the tingling, then you might not like this. So I'm definitely gonna keep using all of these products. I'm obsessed with both of the lip shades that they sent me. Y'all know that I'm like in love with mauve lipsticks. So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. I naturally have very thin lips. So, so far I'm really liking the way that this is plumping my lips. I'm hoping that if I continue using these, it will continue to plump my lips. I will keep you guys updated. They have like before and after pictures on all the boxes showing like how much the products plumped somebody's lips. So yeah, if these products work out for me, I will definitely mention them in an upcoming video. This was like the longest video I've ever filmed. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. I personally love watching videos where people do like check-ins throughout the day just so you can really see how the products work. I really need to get like a vlogging camera so I can show you guys like everything in natural lighting because I can't really like move my camera around like that, especially with the lens that I have on my camera. I'm gonna have all of these products linked in my description box below if you guys are interested in checking any of them out. They do sell Grande Cosmetics at Sephora. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm doing a summer giveaway right now. So if you guys want to enter that, I will have a link in my description box below. And I'll also have links to my Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to follow me on those accounts as well. And before you leave, don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching.